Did you know that this peaceful, quiet lake in Honduras was formed by violent eruptions and lava flows? Lake Yohoa or Lago de Yohoa in Spanish is located in the Central American country of Honduras and it is situated halfway between the cities of San Pedro Sula and Comayagua. The lake, if seen from space, has a shape of a foot sole. Honduras is a beautiful country known for its landscapes, waterfalls, mountains, tropical forests, beautiful blue water beaches, rich cultural history such as the Mayan ruins of Copan, to the cathedrals in Comayagua, and much more. Lago de Yohoa or Lake Yohoa was not the quiet serene place you see today. About 8,000 and 11,000 years ago, violent eruptions took place just north of the northern shore of Lago de Yohoa. This area is known as the Lake Yohoa Volcanic Field. The chain of craters trending in a northeast direction erupted lava that flowed in multiple directions. The north shore of Lake Yohoa was actually formed by a dam of these lava flows that erupted from the volcanic field. Here are some of the pyroclastic cinder cones from the eruption located not too far from the lake shore. Here is Babylonia Crater, and there's also a crater just northeast of Babylonia Crater, and not too far to the southeast is Crater El Oyo. And these are the cones that are easily visible from space and from the highway. The volcanic cones mainly erupted basaltic scoria. During these eruptions, eight to 11,000 years ago, the farthest lava flow reached a town called Rio Lindo, which means beautiful river in Spanish. Pulapansac Falls flows over these now cooled layers of these ancient lava flows. The lava flow you see here is the evidence of Honduras' fiery past. Now studies have found around this area that the lava was mostly basalt and andesite. The water that flows over Pulapansac Falls originates from Lake Yehoa and flows over a 30 meter or 100 foot precipice. The Lake Yohoa volcanic field could be part of the Central American volcanic arc in which the majority of the volcanoes in the arc lie near the southwest coast of Central America around 100 miles or 160 kilometers away. Honduras is located where the Caribbean, Cocos, and North American plate meet. Honduras lies on top of the Caribbean plate and the Cocos plate subducts underneath it creating the conditions for volcanism in Central America and in Honduras. Is it possible that the Lake Yohoa volcanic field can become active again in the future? The short answer is yes. The Lake Yohoa volcanic field is considered dormant as of this moment. It is uncertain how long this quiet will last.